What is up guys? Welcome to another ice fishing video somewhat. Mike and I got some paperwork to do tonight. It's a lot of paperwork. Kind of nerve wracking. We yeah. are putting the Garmish Ice Shack on the lake tonight and I uh, figured we'd film all this because uh, Mike and I will be running ice fishing trips all through the through the winter here. Yeah. Yeah, it would be fun to have a buddy along yeah. for all of it, too. Yeah, not like previous years past. I mean, working just one person at uh, ice fishing guiding is kind of a hard work. <laughs> Moving yeah. shacks, drilling holes, setting up tip-ups. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you if you pay somebody to drop you off in a shack, granted, they're out doing other work, too. Right. And those are some different yeah. fisheries, too. Yeah. yeah. You can't do this here. No, no. Like, you got to be very mobile. We got to be with you. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. we got to move you if there's fish. Yep. So uh, excited to do that this year. Um, definitely going to be cool to have that ice ice house to be used uh, this winter. Right. I'm excited. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be driving across the lake here with this peppy mobile. And um, Mike's going to meet me with the house. And I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we don't fall in. <laughs> we'll have to check the ice first. I don't even know how thick it is. <laughs> yep, that's great. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's plenty safe. It's been super cold the last few days. Um, Oh, more than a few days. Holy cow. Yeah, it's been cold. Negative six, negative it's ten. Been really cold. Yeah, so we got some safe ice. Hopefully, uh, we'll get out there soon. All hooked up. Sheen is on its way. <laughs> You're good. Oh, man. Yeah, that would be important. Sure on these drop downs that your pin's set. It would rotate if it wasn't. <laughs> well, yeah, here's the shack. I know you guys seen it before, but uh, Mike's getting it all dialed. These are all things I have to learn. You just want slack in that. Perfect, all right. You will hit bumps and I will wanna go. <laughs> that would be bad. All right, all hooked up, ready to go. Let's uh, make the first main voyage of the season. All right, we made it safely on the ice, Mike. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Let's go through a quick tour of the shack. I'm excited to use this thing more. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's nice. Uh, Force air furnace with propane. We got a microwave, stove, oven, radio, soon to be TV. I've been trying to do that for the past three years. <laughs> this might be the year. Important. <laughs> We got a fold out futon, we got a bunk bed. Oh, pretty man. sweet. This is Six awesome. catch cover. Holes. That will be used for tomorrow. This yep. is awesome. I'm drop down the axle and I guarantee you we're gonna catch crappies tomorrow. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome to another ice fishing hunt here. Mike, we found some fish. Yeah. We should probably flip this over and look at this. Yep, there is some crappies down there. We are able to use live scope this winter. Pretty wild. We have drilled two holes today and we have found crappies. This is nice. <laughs> We've found a lot of crappies. But yeah, we're gonna be able to use live scope this year. Uh, huge shout out to Garmish for, uh, this is gonna help a lot. Oh, guiding gosh. us this season. Yeah, it's unbelievable. <laughs> it's a fun little toy. It was a little hard to yeah get oriented with it but we've been using it the last couple days we had some guide trips and um today looks like we're just fun fishing yeah <laughs> for now anyways yeah. some people might join us later but right now we're on the fish we gotta pop some more holes but uh this hole that we're on right now has a lot of a lot of crappies we might have a little crappie dinner tonight maybe I don't let's know. give it a shot let's give it a shot let's see we if we actually keep fish no so. no <laughs> we'll set up some flags too and uh yeah get fishing here All right, we just got the shack moved. Had in this spot, there there wasn't that many fish. So, with that pan optics being able to shoot, you know, 50 feet one way, the other way, or whatever, you can see where these fish are in the basin. And uh, putting the shack on the new spot, and 
we'll get fishing here soon. It's gonna be nice in the shack though. Love that thing. Just another awesome tool to have this winter. And if you guys are interested coming up fishing with me and Mike, please do, please do. Uh, you can use that unit, learn it. I'll be filming the trips as well. So it's always a fun time, always a fun time. And you'll be in the luxury of a, sh of a nice shack too. So anyways, getting set up. Hopefully catch a fish here soon. All right, we got the shack there. I have the transducer pointed at it. And as you'll see down there, there is a f school of fish about 15 feet away, about the same distance away that shack is. So it'll be uh, absolutely perfect. Look at that. Well, folks, there's not much going on be below me here. You'll see uh, this guy to my left is not playing, but to my right there 15 feet away there's a nice school of fish so i'm gonna go drill over there and see if that's worth it okay just moved over 15 feet and you see we are right over a bunch of fish so we're gonna drop down now oh we got one coming we got two coming come on eat it oh my gosh i missed him i missed him come on do it again There you go, I'm on. I'm on. That is so cool. That technology is absolutely insane. Being able to see 15 feet to your right or left while you're doing this kind of stuff is pretty insane. Michael's hooked up too. How's yours feeling, Mike? Pretty nice, mine's not. <laughs> Get away from that other transducer. There you go, that's a keeper crappie right there. That's a nice fish. Be perfect eater. That's what uh, a lot of stuff we're fishing for. Nice eater size crappies this time of year in the basin. So super cool. And he's trying to get away. You don't see this very often, folks. Fish on the ice. That doesn't happen, Mike. <laughs> Hopping in the back. He's swimming right ahead. Yep. So you're gonna pull on it? And then you're just going to take your time. If you want line, you just let it slip right through your fingertips. Oh, another flag. Like pile. that. You see how it slipped through my fingertips? Okay, go ahead and pull on the line. Really hard. Pull on it. Pull, pull, pull. pull. There you go. There you go. Okay, now, now pull it in and drop the line down to your side. If you want line, let him take it. You pulling real hard? No. Nope. Perfect. Good job. Is it a walleye, Mike? <laughs> Vivian, are you cold? If you want slime, let him take it right through your fingers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 he's still there. He's just he's swimming at you, yeah. He's swimming at you. <laughs> wow, you ripped a lot. Yeah. Still feel him there? Mm-hmm. There you go. It's uh -oh. a gator. Yeah, fight. Oh. <laughs> he dropped right out of the hole. Nice. Hey, good job. Hooked it right in the corner of the mouth. That was perfect, baby. Let's get a picture with you with this guy, eh? Okay, we got the first pike. That is an amazing dinner right there. Not a walleye, but it's uh, honestly, this time of year, way better than a walleye. Cause you know, I feel kind of bad keeping walleyes, but uh, pike this time of year is so flipping yummy. Mike and I had one two nights ago. And it's just amazing how much, you know, 23, 24 inch pike, how much that feeds you. We had one pike and one crappie and that was a perfect fish fry. So that is awesome. Vivian did a good job there. That thing ripped out a bunch of line, get this tip up set again. We're gonna have a nice little fish fry. Action is definitely slowed down. That's what I do now. <laughs> kind of that midday bite seems to be the best time the last few few days. 
hoping for a walleye this evening. Location wise, we we're just uh, fishing a basin close to a, a nice rock bar. And it's kind of convenient, you know, you can fish for crappies and walleyes, pike, and whatever. So that's cool. Maybe we got another window. That's another keeper right there. Look at that. You can't beat this. I mean, this is absolutely perfect eating crappies. And Mike's got five or six over there. I've only got a couple. And in the in the shack there, they're staying warm and still catching fish. And that's just a perfect 11, 10 and a half, 11 inch crappie. This pan optic's so cool. You can watch, you know, 15 feet on both sides. Fish over here, fish over there, and you can watch them swim through in and out. It is just very entertaining. Uh, there's a lot to learn to this machine that uh, I'm excited to start digging deeper, start doing some more research, and hopefully, can teach you guys something about this machine but it's definitely different than just a plain old flasher <laughs> oh he's coming up he's coming up there we go look at him go back and forth this might be another nice keeper oh it is cold it is windy but fish are still biting there's another nice crappie not as big but fought a lot a lot harder but still nine ten inch crappie perfect Perfect, perfect. All right, I think it's time to sit in the shack. I think Mike and I are gonna stay out. Maybe an hour past dark and uh, try to catch a walleye here. I think that's the game plan, that would be cool.